check in with Jim on your weather right now. First, though, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Don't you just want to take a dip? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> 25 huh? degrees outside. This is snowy and cold Idaho City. It really is picture perfect, but I do not recommend jumping in. <laughs> yes. Listen to your news, Mom. <laughs> do not jump in oh, frigid water boy. right yeah. now. Yeah, apparently that's not a hot spring. I don't see any steam coming off no. of that. So, yeah, just kind of no. take a picture and... Leave it at that. Enjoy from afar. <laughs> exactly. And it's cold outside, but not as cold as the last couple of mornings. Temperatures are in the mid-20s right now. It is dry, but it is mostly cloudy overhead. And we have a little bit of a northerly flow bringing more clouds down into the area. 25 degrees right now in Boise with those clouds and northwest winds at 3 miles per hour. And you can see the clouds dropping down from the north into Idaho around the high-pressure system that sits off the west coast. Storms have to go up and over the top of that high pressure. When they drop down into our region, they're weaker, but they bring a few snow showers down through the northern Rockies, especially as they head toward the plains, and some of them drag by Idaho for a few mountain snow showers and flurries from time to time. So for the next few days, it'll be in that pattern. Northwesterly flow keeping things a little bit unsettled with that chance of snow showers in the mountain areas, while the valleys will stay dry. Even down along the Nevada border from time to time, we'll see those snow showers. Another stronger system starts moving in by Thursday night and into Friday. That's when the snow will increase in the mountain areas and by Friday afternoon dropping down into the valleys. We might see some light snow, maybe up to a half inch to an inch possible later Friday. There could be some rain and snow mixed as well as it comes on through. So we'll know better as we get closer to it tomorrow to see what's coming our way. And on into the weekend, staying pretty unsettled with even colder air dropping in from the north and east by the weekend, late in the weekend and into next week. Today across the Magic Valley, we'll see mostly cloudy skies, mid to upper 20s from Shoshone down to Burley, farther west from Gooding to Jerome to Twin Falls in the low 30s this afternoon, 33 in Twin Falls. And for the central mountain areas, upper 20s to near 30 degrees from the Wood River Valley up to the Stanley Basin and uh, partly cloudy and 22 degrees in Fairfield. There is that slight chance of snow getting down into the McCall area, high about 34 this afternoon, a flurry or two down toward Donnelly and Cascade, Council around 37 degrees, and Riggins a chance of rain in 42. And for the Treasure Valley, temperatures in the mid to upper 30s today. We were 37 degrees yesterday in Boise, reaching the mid to upper 30s again today with partly to mostly cloudy skies. 37 once more in Boise this afternoon, 35 in Mountain Home. For the next few days, that chance of mountain snow showers, valleys stay basically dry, upper 30s during the days, 20s at night, a chance of snow on Friday, and then late Saturday into Sunday, another system comes in, increasing the chance of snow Sunday into Monday, and notice the cooling trend. I've made Monday and Tuesday first alert weather days because we are looking at much colder temperatures. 30s now, but it's only gonna be in the 20s next week.